Welcome guys, welcome back. Today we'll be talking, we'll be answering a question actually that I have received a lot of time. I am no expert in the crystal field or anything like that, but it is a tool that I love to use. Crystals have very powerful energy and properties and they can help you with any sort of healing, either procedure if you're a healer or any sort of healing for yourself, for your energy, for your chakras, for any sort of thing. They really can help you a lot. So having that said, people ask me all the time, how can you clean your crystals and how do you access this energy? So how do you use your crystals basically? So a lot of people feel drawn to them and they go ahead and buy whichever they feel like is the one that resonates with them. But then when they get home, they don't really know what to do with them or how to like meditate with them or how to access the power that they have within. So the first um, thing you would need to do is actually clean it because if it's bought from a store, everybody's like going ahead and grabbing them and touching them and all of that like energy from different people starts to create some sort of, some sort of like little um, cloud around it, I guess, uh, of negative energy, not, neg not necessarily negative energy, just random like cluttered energy. And you would need to get rid of that before you want to connect with it. So a great way to do it, of doing it, it which is really easy, just get a bowl find some sea salt at the supermarket or Himalayan salt or anything like that. Dissolve the salt in the water, in water, inside the bowl. Put your crystals in for a few moments. There's crystals that are not meant to be left in water because it's not good for them. So just leave them there for a minute or two and say a prayer or say your intention. My intention is for the salt water to absorb all of the colored, cluttered or non-beneficial energy that is being that has been formed around this crystal. My intention is for this crystal to be really, really cleared for my use, for my spiritual practice. Okay, after that, after you set your intention, you can place your crystal outside of your window after it has been washed. Put it outside the window and allow the lunar prana or the lunar energy from the moon to simply bathe it during the night. It doesn't have to have a direct connection to the moon, so it doesn't have to, it's not like you have to put it in the window that's exactly facing the moon. It doesn't need to be that way. You can just put it outside and just the energy of the night and, and the moon, uh, it's just gonna like kind of charge it. Then the next morning you can pick it up, you can take it and you can start meditating with it. Um, depending on what kind of crystal it is, if you bought a crystal that's ideal for protection, you can start setting your intention for it that every time that you have it near you, it protects you, it protects your energy, it protect, protects you from this, that, or the other. Um, setting the intention for your use is very important. Setting your intention for anything you do is really important. That, that's what's going to guarantee any kind of result. So I would say, yeah, just put your intention and then just start seeing what resonates with you maybe meditate with it maybe do chakra clearings maybe research a little bit about the crystal you bought every single crystal is different and they have so many different properties they're limitless so you can research a little bit see if it's good for love is it good for protection is it good for abundance what is it good for and google everything how can i connect to my crystal how can i um, charge my chakras with the crystals, how can I create crystal grids, how can I clean my aura, anything you wish, just google that, google it, but yeah, I think that, clen that cleansing your crystal at first is the most important thing before you start using it, because otherwise you'll start getting like all sorts of weird messages from it, and just kind of like a weird energy, and you don't want that, so I hope this helps. Incense is also good for clearing crystals. So if you have incense around or sage, that works too. I hope this helped, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.